In our series for beginners, here is a video on prime numbers, composite numbers, and prime factorization. Follow our series to get good concepts on pre algebra. Thank you. Hi, Akin. How are you doing? Good. How are you? Very good. Very good. Again, today we are going to talk about prime numbers and we will do prime factorization of some numbers. Okay. Before we get into it, can you introduce yourself to all my subscribers and viewers? Hello, my name is Akin. I am seven years old. I'm in grade two. Today, I'm going to be doing a, a, a subject that I don't know. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Today, we'll learn about prime numbers and also do prime factorization. Is it okay? Okay. So, let me teach you what prime numbers are and then we'll begin our class, right? So, I'm going to share with you a white board, right? So, any number, when you multiply any two numbers, let's say we multiply two times three, what do we get? We get? Six. Six. In that case, they have a name. 6 is the product of 2 and 3, and 2 and 3 are the factors of 6. So that yeah. is how they are related. You get the idea? Mm -hmm. So when I say that, let's say 4 times 2 is equal to 8, so what are the factors in this case and what is the product? So the factors yeah. are 4 and 2, and the product is 8. But, oh wait, I yeah. can't annotate. Don't worry, you can annotate, but at present you don't, right? So, let me just uh, give you some basics. I just want to write on the board. We will, we will, don't worry, we will do it, right? So, we have understood. But what from here you can put 2, 2. Yeah, we can have more factors, that is okay. But yeah. for now... Whatever numbers you multiply with and get the next number, that next number is called the product, right? Now, you must have seen one thing, that some numbers, for example, number 24. In how many ways can you get number 24? You can multiply 1 with 24, correct? Yes. You can multiply 2 with, with 12. 2 with 12. 3 with 8. 8, you can do it with... Four and six. six. And you can do it with nothing else. Yeah. So basically, these are the combinations which can give you 24, correct? So in this case, how many factors of 24? Uh, oh, I know that, sir. Write down. Two how many factors? Be four times two, that's eight. No, how many factors? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there are 8 factors of 24 which you have seen, correct? Yeah. Let's look into the next number, which is 6 for us. How many factors can you write for 6? Tell me. Uh, one, two, 1 times 6, right? Oh, I know. I know. Yeah, so tell me. 2 times 3, 1 times 6. So there are four factors, correct? Mm -hmm. How about the number nine? How many factors does nine have? So you can do one times nine. You can do you can do two times nothing. No, you can't do that. Anything? You can do three square. Three times three. Three square means three three, right? So only. Yeah. So that means there are three factors, correct? Correct. If I yeah. take eleven, how many factors will eleven have? So you can, so you can do one times eleven. You can't do, but you can multiply two. You can multiply three. Only two factors. Two factors. So what do we notice here? That some numbers may have only two factors. Correct. Yeah. We call these numbers as prime numbers. So now let me tell you what are prime numbers. Prime numbers have. Exactly two factors. 
Can you give me some more example of prime numbers which will have only two factors? Oh, I know. Tell me. You can do one like, for example, 22. No, no. Prime no, no, numbers no. which have only two factors. Only two factors. Yeah. Prime numbers. I got one. Tell me. Wait. Um, can you give me some examples of prime numbers? So the only thing you like one times one. No, no, no. Two, two. Two is one example. What else can you tell me? Tell me which other prime numbers can you tell me? Three. Okay. Five. Okay. Seven. Right. So two, three, five, seven are prime numbers. They have only two factors. And the numbers which have more than two factors are called what? Composite numbers. Very good. So more than two factors are called composite numbers. Composite numbers. Perfect. Now, here is a question for you. Is one a prime number? No. Why? Because you, it's one by itself. It's one times one, but one yeah. is the same number. Yeah, only one factor, right? Therefore, it is neither prime nor composite. Is that clear? Yes. Question number two. Can even number be a prime number? Tell only, me. only one even number, which I think is two. Two. Only two is an exception, you can say, right? Yes. Others will have at least two as your prime number, right? Very good answer. So now you have learned it. Now, another important thing which I would like to share with you is that every number can be written as a product of prime numbers. Do you understand this statement? Yes. And how do we get those prime numbers is the process, which is called prime factorization. Yeah. Which I'm going to do today. That is what you're going to do today. And you know the technique how to do it? Yes. So we'll begin with, let's take a number, 10. Can you do prime factorization of 10? Okay, so first you can do... 2 times 5, then that's, so it's 2 times 5. Equals ten. to 10. Now, let's take okay. another number, 12. Okay, so first you can do 2 times 6, yeah. plus 6. 2 times 3. Correct. 2, you can, another way to multiply. Right here, right here. 12 five. equals to 2 times 2 times 3, correct? With that dot. You're right. Perfect. Now let's take more. 18. Can you do prime factorization of 18? So first, you, you can do like 2 times 6. No, no, not 6. Oh, uh, 2 times 9. Yeah, right now. And then from 9, you can do 3 times 3. So 2. Right here, right, right at the bottom. It'll be better, right? Right at the bottom here. 2 times 3 to the power of 2, I'll just say that. Very good. 3 to the power of 2 is 18. Right. That is correct. So let's do another number, 24. Can you do prime factorization of 24? 24, okay. First, you can do 4 times 6. Okay, good. Then you can do 2 times 3. Right. 
And for that, four times. No, no, no. four also prime factorization do. Oh, yeah. So don't be in a rush. Now write down here at the bottom. So okay. now write down what is 24 equals to. So you can do two to the power of three. Very good. Times three. Excellent. So that is prime factorization of 24. Now let's do prime factorization of 30. And then you write what is 30 equals to. Is it okay? Yep. Do it. Okay, so for 30, first we can do five times six. Correct. Then two times three for that. Yes. As for that, five times two times three equals 30. Do 32 now. 32, okay. For that, you can do first four times eight. Very then good. You can do two times four. For, as for that, no, no, four also goes, right? Two times two. Oh. You'll be in a rush. Two, two. Yeah. Equals. This four also? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah, do it. Do it, it equals two to the power of, yeah. of five. Very good. Two to the power oh, yeah. of five. Two to the power of five. Five. Excellent. Two to the power of five is 32, right? So now let's do. The number which I'm going to write now is 50. Prime factorization 50. Yeah. Do it. Prime factorization 50. Okay, so first you can do something like for short form, I want to do 5 times 10. Okay, that's very good. Then I'll do 2 times 5. So 50 okay. equals to what? Write down 50 equals to? 2. Five no five to the power of two. Yeah. Times two. Very good. Right. So now let's do prime factorization of the number forty-two. Okay. First you can do something like wait oh seven times six. Correct. Then with six, two times three. Right. For that equals wait anything missing? Nothing is perfect. Two, so three, that is the two equals seven times six times not six, two and three. Oh. oh sorry. That's okay. Continue. Seven times two times uh, Three. Perfect. So you are very familiar with doing prime factorization, correct? Yeah. So let me take a slightly bigger number, and this is 64 for you. Can you write, do prime factorization of 64? Oh, yeah. So how will you do 64? Eight times eight, I forgot. Okay, continue. Right, so 64 is equal to what? 2 to the power of what? Two, three, four. Uh, no more, wait. It's the power of 6. Very good, write down. So you understand powers also. Excellent. Yeah. How will you do prime factorization of 81? Okay. 81. 9 times 9. Perfect. 3, 3, 3, 3. So that's for that. It equals right. 2 right. to the power. 81 equals 2. Oh. 81. 3 to the power of 4. Because there's 4 threes. 3, 3, 3, 3. Excellent. Now, let's do prime factorization of 48. Okay. First, for this number, oh, wait. So, 
هستم eight eight times six okay then with eight two times four then four two and two right six you can do two and three perfect and then it equals of um, two to the power of four two to the power of four yeah times three Right, so 48 equals to 2 to the power of 4 times 3. Very good. That is absolutely right. Now, if I give you the prime factorization of a number, my number n is equals to 2 to the power of 2 times 3 to the power of 2. Can you tell me what is my number? Okay. Okay. Yeah, do it. What is the number? I think I know the answer. Tell me the answer. Oh, can I write it? Yeah, write it, right. Do slowly. What is 2 square equals to? Uh, 2 square 4. Right, 4. And what is 3 square equals to? Oh, yeah. And multiply. Get the answer. I thought you have to... Oh, no, Adam. <laughs> Sorry. 4 yeah. times 9 first. Equals to how much? Write down here. 26. Write down. Okay. Write down. Then we'll, I'll give you the next number to you. I wrote down. So now, this is the last question for you. The number is 2 to the power of 3 times 3 to the power of 2 times 5. Can you find this number? So first you have to do 2 to the power of 3, yeah. which is 8. Okay. So eight. Right, right eight underneath. Eight, eight. Okay, eight. And then you can do three to the power of two. So you can put eight. I'll just put eight here. Yeah. Then three to the power of two, that is not nine. nine. Yeah. And then times five. So times five. five. So what do you get? Eight times nine first. That I'll just put eight. Nine, and then I'll put the number here. Eight times nine first, okay, that's 72. Two, not times, five. Yes. Okay, 72 times five, seven, two times five. Five times two is 10. Five times seven is thirty-five plus one thirty-six. Three sixty is your answer. Very good. So the number is three sixty. Very good. Excellent work done again. You got such a beautiful answer here. With this, we can end our class today. Perfect. So can you share with us your learnings of prime numbers, composite numbers, and prime factorization again? Yep. So I kept learning math one hour. Yeah. Just like the same way I did multiplication, division, and everything else I learned. Yes, yes, yes. Maybe not anymore, but I used to. Okay, great. So again, thanks a lot. Uh, we'll again meet and learn something new next time. Okay? Okay, bye. Great. Bye. All the best. Thank you. Bye.